So this is the HLA B27 peptide powder form. We're going to waste some out, solubilize it, and this is going to go into our next cocktail. Okay, so now we have our peptide that's diluted to the correct concentration. Added to this is as you see, this is our clear poly lacto glycolic acid PLGA. Adding a little bit of water soluble chemicals. CPG to stimulate the immune response and a little bit of mannose. Rock and roll for a bit. And this is going to go into our next little formulation. Run the prime again. Right. This is a laser that continuously monitors the size of the particles that are being made so that for the manufacturing environment, we actually have a closed loop system that makes sure that everything is constantly the right size. And the way we vary the size is this manifold controls the introduction of liquid into the nozzle, and then we have uh, these pressurized gas manifolds over here that go to nitrogen. All this is controlled by sensors and feedback and software that make sure that all the pressures are correct. From here, putting it through the correct flow rate and the correct air, we make these you know, micron-sized particles, 9, 10 micron, and that's what we're collecting on the cascade impactor, and we'll, we'll have those for you in just a few minutes. So you've got this sieve plate and an impaction plate that sits right behind it. As you, as you go further down, the sieves get finer, so the velocity gets higher. The size collected on that stage is smaller as the, as the velocity gets higher. It's like, it's like sorting coins in a coin sorter when you're a kid. You know, the big ones stay at the top and the little ones go through. This is the plate we're most interested in because this gives us the 10 micron cut underneath where those holes are. These are what we just made. Looking at them on a microscope slide with a video microscope. Those particles look like they're about 9 to 10 microns. They'll come apart when, when you put them in solution. 